All right. Okay. That's the elephant bar. All right. Let's move on to that's the bull elephant bar. Let's move on to a bear elephant bar. Okay. Now look at the bear elephant bar. Boom. Look at to the left of it. There is nothing powerful to the left making this the first one. Now, remember I told you this is a two minute bar in about one minute, 50 seconds. I want you to put that $25,000 into the bar. Boom. $25,000 there. You know what to do next. After you go in with 25,000, you're going to put a stop up. Your protection goes one penny above the high. And so this is a way for us to profit when stocks go down. We're playing bear elephant bars down. We're playing green bull elephant bars up. So yes, for those of you who are very new to this game, we make money when stocks go up. We also make money when stocks go down. So we're playing the, we're betting downward with the bear elephant bar. Now, if you can't, if you didn't catch the bear elephant bar in its formation and you saw it only after it's closed, then I want you to put that $25,000 into the next bar. The next bar must break the low. Boom. So both of these entries are correct. Whichever one you get first. And as you can see, protection here. And what did the stock do? <laughs> Beautiful. Now, some traders say, well, Oliver, what if I missed the first one and I, even, I didn't even get this? Can I play this one? Yes, you can. All right. But the further you get down, the greater the odds that it might potentially back up on you. So it's always best to grab the first one. But as you can see, playing this one with the protective stop there worked. Playing this one with the protective stop there still worked. All right. All right. What are the most important takeaways here? The most important takeaway is where you protect yourself. Once you're in, you got to know to lose only one bar. So in this case, if the stock backs up on us, we only lose one bar. But if we win, look at how many bars you win. And so traders, look at this. This is how you stay in this game forever. Here's your risk and here is the potential reward. And I call this the snowman effect, right? If you're trading with the snowman effect, you're doing very well. All right, here's a snowman. Remember how we used to do as a kid? We used to draw the snowman here, do a little, little fingers there, legs there. You know, you know how we used to do. And then boom, boom, boom. I always do three buttons on the, on the, uh, on the body because the head is only one, but I want your profits to be at least three so that every time you lose, you lose one, but when you win, you win three or more. You understand? Three or more. Maybe there's four buttons. Maybe there's five buttons, but three buttons minimum. So your losses will always be one button. Your wins will be three buttons or four buttons or five buttons or 20 buttons. And guys, if you can maintain the snowman, you're going to be in this business forever you're going to be consistently profitable. This is how you're consistently profitable. Keeping those losses limited to the head and keeping profits fat in the body. Okay. All right. Let's move on.
Now, the next bar type I want to teach you about are tail bars. We've got the bull and bear elephant bars down. I want you to be able to play the bull and bear tail bars. Now, on the left, you've got bull tail bars. You've got you've got a green top and a red top. I want you to note that the green is a little bit of green, the red is a little bit of red, but what's big is the tail under the green and red. That's the most important part of tail bars. Now, when the tail is at the bottom, I want you to think of these as rockets that are gonna shoot to the upside. When the tail is at the bottom, this is like the fire coming out of the rocket, shooting to the upside. This is like the fire coming out of the rocket, shooting to the upside. It doesn't matter if the top is green or red. It just matters, do I have the tail at the bottom or do I have the tail at the top? Because if the tail is at the top, the fire is shooting downward. The rocket is shooting downward, you see? So bottoming tails, when the tails are at the bottom, the rocket should shoot higher. When the tail is at the top, the rocket should shoot lower, all right? It doesn't matter what color, it only matters is the tail at the top or the bottom, okay? Now, very quickly, take a look at this topping tail bar, all right? That tail is at the top of the bar, meaning that the rocket is shooting downward. And as you can see, right after the tail, the stock declines, okay? You can take a look at this little tiny tail one. After the tail, we get a little bit of a drop here. Not much, but a little bit, okay? If you look very closely, here's a tail at the bottom. This shoots upward, okay? This one shoots downward. This one, Look at this one, drops a little bit, but then shoots upward. Now, how do we play tails? We play them very similar with, similar to elephant bars. I like to get into the bar after the tail. Boom, there's my $25,000. So there's the tail bar. I let the tail bar finish. And the next bar, if the next bar drops a little bit below the low of the tail, boom, $25,000 in. Remember, protect yourself. This is my protection. This is the head of my snowman. This is my risk, but this is the potential reward. There's that snowman again. This is my risk. I get in here. 25,000, I protect myself here, there's a little hat, and here is the body of the snowman. As you can see, one, two, this is like a three button play. One button, two button, three button, boom! Now guys, I want you to understand, this is a two minute, four minute, six, eight, 10 minute trade and 10 minutes, all right? I'd say this can be 144.50 to 140. Uh, let's say this is $350. Now repeat this several times in the day and you're in business. Let's take this bottoming tail bar. Boom, okay? You're gonna buy the next bar that takes out the high of the tail bar, all right? If you want to. You're gonna protect yourself under the low. So even though this dropped back a little bit, it did not trigger your protection, all right? And then, so once again, here's your risk, here is the risk, there's the head of the, of the snowman. Here's the potential reward. 
All right. Keep this snowman and you're going to be in business forever. You want to take this topping tail bar and try it. All right. 25,000 in. Boom. Protection above. Here's the head. Protect yourself. Keep the loss small. And it didn't go down very far, but still, you got a baby. Snowman. I take all of the snowmen. Do you understand? I want you to understand that. Every snowman is not going to be created equal. So some of your snowmans are little cheeky 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 that's a little snowman. Some of them is gonna be like a big giant snowman. All right? But we take them all. We take what the market gives us. Little snowmen, middle-sized snowmen, big snowmen. The only thing that I need you paying the most attention to is keeping those losses limited to the head of the snowman. You wanna lose one bar. If you can do this one thing, if this one thing you pull away from this presentation today is that if you can limit all of your trading losses to one bar on the chart, you're going to be phenomenal. That's the, that's the foundation of becoming successful, cutting those losses, cutting the head off. That's it. That's the way we need to look at it, right? We're going to cut the head off. If the stock's not cooperating, cut the head off. If the stock's not doing its job, cut the head off. You want to be a great head cutter, a head hunter. I hope I made myself clear. If you have any questions whatsoever, just jot them below. I will try to answer every single one. If you like this brief little talk on a tiny little subject, which I plan to do more frequently here, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe by clicking the bell in the upper left hand corner. And once again, leave a comment. Let's help the algorithm. And let's help this message get out to as many people as possible. So next time traders trade well. Ciao for now. Boom.